<clears throat> welcome back to my channel welcome to what was going to be a cheerful happy day in the life vlog i've woken up with a stinking cold i've been awake all night with that prickly tickly throat thing you get and i've got a cold now so i don't feel it particularly cheerful and happy feeling a bit sorry for myself but hey ho we move I've got new glasses. This is another reason why I'm feeling a bit odd because I've got new very focals. I tried very focals a couple of years ago, gave up on them really quickly, but I'm giving them another go because I'm sick of taking my glasses off to read things or peering over them or under them or wearing them or putting them on my head or whatever. So I'm giving very focals another go. I picked these up yesterday. I wore them yesterday evening to go to a quiz and that was okay but when I went to drive home in the dark I discovered it was very very odd trying to drive home in the dark in them so I put my other glasses on to drive home for safety but I woke up this morning put these on first thing with the idea being that my eyes have been off all night and I'll put them on with the new glasses that makes sense so we're going to try new glasses today I've got to drive down to a place called Gillingham now I thought Gillingham was in Kent perhaps there is a Gillingham in Kent but this one is just past Froome to pick up something for storing mugs on the loft so that's on the cards for today. And apart from that, it's just an ordinary day pottering around. So I'm going to start this morning. God, my arm's aching already. Shows how out of uh, practice I am with vlogging. I'm going to start this morning by putting some makeup on and trying to improve this face. And um, then do a few listings. The time now is 7.58. So it's 8am. I want to leave the house just after 9. So I'm going to put my face on and do a few listings before it's time to go. And then we'll go down to Gilling and pick up this thing and then see where we go from there. I look in the mirror, who's looking back at me? I don't know what happened, guess we weren't meant to be. I know we had problems, I thought we could fix them, but we got tired. There's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on. fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line oh, still feel off but i think i look a little bit better okay let's get some listening done I try and aim to do 10 listings a day most days. I don't always succeed sometimes, but some days I don't do any, but I try and do 10 a day as a bare minimum. And then on the days when I've got a bit more time, sometimes I'll do 20 or 30, but 10 is my aim point. So these will be one listing because they're two identical mugs. They are the Leonardo Cats collection. You will have seen these in a pickup video if you watch my haul videos. And then this one is a Snakes Fritillary Head mug by crown tread china that's going on today that's two i will be listing these giant uh m s maxim coffee cups they're huge they're look hands for hands for scale can of pepsi max for scale <laughs> so i'll be listing those today i'll be listing this football bowl i sold one of these yesterday funnily enough now it's not a simple relist because it's got a different picture in the base but it's not too difficult for a relist I will be listing a tiny cross stitch kit, a brownie hair bow, a pair of Clark's shoes, a Kipling handbag, a Bravissimo sports bra, and a Babyliss 
curl press, I think this is called. Yeah, Babyliss curl press. I don't particularly select what I'm going to list. I tend to grab a bag out of the cupboard, pull 10 things out of it and go for it. Sometimes the bags in the cupboard I have already sorted into 10 similar things or, or bags of similar. So I might pull a bag out and it might be all cups or something in one day. But this was just a random bag that's come home from the car boot. So I like that. And so that's what I'm listing today. Oh, and I am listening to. One thing I found that really helps me when I'm listing. Sorry, this jump has an itchy label. That's going to have to come out at some point today. Really helps when I'm listening is to put an audio book on YouTube in the background. I can't put a YouTube video on that I would like to watch because I keep flicking back and forth from the screens to watch it. And although I can get two screens up, I just find it better to have an audio book on. So I'm currently listening to um, the Peter Whimsey Mysteries by Dorothy L. Sayers. There's loads of them on YouTube. So if you enjoy Golden Age of Crime Fiction, you can find an awful lot of it to listen to on YouTube. Right, let's do some work. Okay, I'm still very foggy. <laughs> drafts are done, photographs are done. I will add the photographs to the drafts during the day. I tend to do that whenever I get a quiet couple of minutes somewhere. Maybe I'm maybe I'm waiting for Natalie somewhere outside or something like that, you know. So I tend to sit there and I'd fire up a few photos onto the draft. And I schedule six listings a day, so I'm scheduled up well in advance. So there's no rush for that part of it. Wanted to show you something that has arrived in the post. I'm so excited. Wait till you see this. So you may remember a while back, probably maybe a year ago, I did a Balti video. There's a company called Harpers Hill that another YouTuber who um, I chat with works for, that's uh, Donna. I'll try and remember to link her channel below. She works for this company. She messaged me and said, oh, we're bringing, bringing a new Balti bowl. Have you ever cooked a Balti? Would you like to try it? And I said, I'd love to. So I cooked my first ever Balti using the Harpers Hill Balti bowl. OK, this box arrived and I was like, this is, bear in mind, this is a year later. I was like, have they got my details mixed up somewhere in their system? You know what I mean? Has my has my name and address stayed in their system and they've sent me a customer's order because I haven't ordered anything and I wasn't expecting anything? Wait till you see what it is. They have brought out a new range of kitchen hooks and... Sorry, this cold in my head is blowing my brain. <laughs> kitchen hooks. This is a kitchen roll holder. This is a hanging hook. Let me see if I can find the name of the collection for you. Bear with me. So they are cast iron kitchen hooks and holders and there's several different dog designs. And Donna sent me this one because she thought it, it resembled Molly a bit and she thought I would love it. And I do love it. It's absolutely fabulous. It comes with comes with all the fixing hooks or whatever. So that is the kitchen roll holder. This is the hanging hook. But there is also um, a five hook rack available and a toilet roll holder and there's garden art, there's so much different stuff available. And I just thought it was so really kind of her to send me this. Like I said, I wasn't asked to, to promote this to you guys. She didn't send it to me and say, can you show this or anything like that? Just sent it out of the blue, didn't know it was coming. Random box arrived in the post. I think it's lovely, isn't it gorgeous? So I will put the link into Harper's Hill, even though I haven't been asked to do that and this is not a paid promotion, I'll put the link into Harper's Hill in the description box below so that you guys can go and check them out if you're interested as well. And, and thank you so much to Donna and Donna's boss, whose name I've forgotten, um, for thinking of me and sending them. I think they're gorgeous. Thank you. OK, we're off to Gillingham to pick up this thing. Got my co-pilot with me. <laughs> it's a bit early for you. Um, yeah. Oh, no, well no, awake. She's, she's well awake. Well awake. Excuse the strep still. Um, I was going to put you on the holder and film some of the journey. And then I realised I need you for sat nav, so I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll um, we'll see you in Gillingham in a minute. But right, it won't be a minute for us. I'm not that fast to drive. It'll be a minute for you. This is what I have been to pick up. It is this is called what's this stuff called? Slap rack, slap rack displaying. I think it's called. And um, you put hooks in it. It's for hanging mugs on. So I'll show you it when I get it home properly. And um, we've just stopped at Asda to use the facilities. And now it's time to drive home again. You can take the girl away from the car boot sale, but you can't take the car boot sale away from the girl or something. We're just minding our own business, driving along, and 
Excuse the air freshener. I'm trying, trying to get yeah, it. And there's a little car boot sale. Tiny car boot sale. They're really going to get stuff off. Produced five Slimming World books. Uh, dog activity thing for eBay. And dog toy for our dogs. So that one bad for a two minute stop. That was definitely worth the two minute stop off. Like I said, I got five Slimming World, Slimming World Club. Club. Slimming, slim, what did I get? Slimming World books. Slimming World books. And um, a dog toy to sell and a dog toy for our dogs as well. So, And Natalie got to speak to an ex bomb sniffing, an ex -bomb -sniffing dog who had worked outside the Houses of Parliament but got retired early because he was sniffing food. He just kept <laughs> sniffing people's sandwiches instead of bombs. <laughs> right, now we're going home. <sighs> that was a long, long morning's work. The display stand is downstairs in the front room. We don't think we can get it upstairs on our own, let alone into the loft. But we also, while we were out, collecting my bulk by clothing sacks. So many regrets right now. <laughs> got a lot of work to do. I've got to take Natalie and Freya to the station in a minute. They're going to Cardiff to see somebody in something. I don't know what. And um, I've got to drop them at Parkway Station. That's a reflection I'm watching. Um, and then I need to come home and crack on with that lot. Okay, that's them dropped off at the station. <sighs> I'm knackered. It is four o'clock. I've done 27 full days work already today, it feels like. I have already actually started sorting through the clothes, but there's a whole lot left to do. So I'm gonna put in a couple of hours doing that. <sighs> then I'm gonna walk the dogs. Find myself some dinner. I've got to pick them back up from the station at half eleven tonight. So I'm probably going to go to sleep in between that. Because as you know, I'm not a late night bod. So I'll come back and show you this when it's done. Should we do a magic finger click thing? Thumb, what's it called? Thumb snap? What's it called? Okay, the bags are gone. But are they? No, they're just unpacked. Here. Here is where the bottom of the desk is. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. There's an awful lot of stuff there. This is the stuff I am keeping to sell, a much smaller pile. This is the stuff that will now move on, hopefully, to other resellers. What I do have to do now is start um, bagging it back up, folding it, bagging it back up, and then sending out some messages, seeing if anybody wants any, and really hoping they say yes, otherwise I've got an awful lot of stuff that I don't have any storage space for. So yeah, that's next. It is five o'clock. It's taken me an hour to go through the bags. Five o'clock now. So now I need to start, sorry my throat's really bad, now I need to start getting it put away again and find the desk. We are out on the dog walk. I couldn't let them do their usual park gate dash because there were people in here today. I only let them do that if I can see the park is empty. But there were youth, teenagers. Buddy, as you can see, is hale and hearty at the moment. Despite uh, being close to death a fortnight ago, it's absolutely crazy if the dog bounces back. The others are up front there. There's Kai. Molly's off. Ploughing through the undergrowth doing her own thing, I think. <laughs> she is, I can see her. Two minutes sit on the plumbing. Hoping I, hope, hoping I won't start coughing again. I just had another coughing fit and nearly, uh, nearly coughed myself dead. <laughs> um, I'm knackered. I am very, very tired. It is 20 to 6. I need to finish walking the dogs. I need to stand up off my plumbing, go and walk the dogs properly. Get myself something to eat and then I'm going to chill for a bit. Like I said, I've got to pick up Natalie from the station. I don't know if I've already said this. I've got to pick her up at like half past 11 tonight from Parkway. So uh, I'm probably going to have a, a nap this evening before I do that because I can't stay awake till half 11. I'm sure I can't. But I have achieved a fair amount today. Buddy! Hang on, bear with. <whistles> He's going the wrong way. I need to go after him. The whistle usually works. He's nearly, nearly completely deaf, but the whistle is a good pitch for him to hear it. So it normally works and makes him come back, but he's got, he's mislaid us. And what has happened is he thinks we've gone on ahead. So now he's running off in the direction that he thinks we've gone in. <laughs> and I'm trotting along after him. Oh dear, so much for me quick sit down. That didn't last long. Finish walking the dogs, go home, find something to eat. Molly, go and get him, go and get him. Go and tell him where we are. In a minute, he'll turn around and he'll spot me and go come dashing back again when he realises he's gone the wrong way. He's, he's stopped. Luckily, he's found something to sniff. For a little old dog, he's got a fair old turn of speed. 
when he does set off in the wrong direction. Here he comes. There you go, he's realised he wasn't with us. I am so tired. I have got to the point where there are, there, I can see the desk in front of me now. That bit's cleared, whereas it was covered before. There's still some more stuff bagged up. I've bagged some stuff back up just for the sake of putting it tidy. And some stuff ready to go out to people already. I feel rough AF. I'm going to take another dose of, what are these? Sainsbury's Healthcare Flu Max something or other. And have a doze. And I'm going to say goodnight to the vlog. But I don't think I've put anything remotely interesting in it today. I think it's been an awful lot of tell instead of show. So what I might do is carry on tomorrow and film tomorrow as well. Go into the car boot in the morning. So I might get a little bit of footage there of something interesting. Um, and um, you'll get to see mum, which, you know, you might like. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that'll give me a little bit extra rather than just this just being extremely boring. But um, I think I'm done for today. As you can tell by my rather weary eyes. I had, I actually, I, you may have noticed I put my old glasses back on. I managed to keep the very focals on all day until after the dog walk. I have discovered that I cannot read text on the TV screen from across the room with the new glasses at all, no matter where I put my head. So I'm a bit worried that the prescription might not be quite right. I'll persevere with them for a few days and then maybe I'll ring spec savers and see if that's normal. Because normally with these glasses, I can't read text up close, but I can read text across the room. Whereas with the very focals, I can't, no matter where I look. So a bit worried about that. But yeah, I've given up on putting these, put these back on tonight because my eyes were so tired. But I have worn them all day, so I'm quite pleased about that. I'm off to bed. I need to ring my mother. I'm off to ring my mother. Then I'm going to go to bed for a bit. I need to set an alarm to get up and get Natalie from the station. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Drive a faster car, lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know it is just my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make hello, I'm in the loft. Home from the boot sale, got Anthony to help me get this up. Turned out to be a trauma. Didn't seem like the feet would come off. They did come off in the end, but oh my God, it turned out to be a trauma. But I'm very pleased with it now it's here. So it's, I'm gonna put my hooks on and move some of my mugs. I don't know where I could prop you while I do that. If you fall over, then you'll just have to not be able to see because if you've been given the opportunity to stand there nicely, if you choose not to, there's not a lot I can do about it, is there? Ah, you immediately fell over. One of the tricks is to not fall down the hill. So far, I've only ever fallen down the hole once, but once was enough. Once was um, once was certainly enough to make me realise I didn't want to do it regularly. I didn't fall completely out of the loft, but I fell enough for it to hurt. <laughs> right, um, this is Tammy's suitcase and she's going to want it back in a few days' time. In the meantime, it's in my way. Bear with.
And they're, don't you fall down the hole either. Drop a massive suitcase out the hole and kill one of the dogs. By God, I got a lot of rubbish. Right. Okay, I've moved Tammy's suitcase. Why am I saying suitcase? Who says suitcase? Uh... Right, what I want to try and do is move it from over there to over here. Where's a bloody ton, and I don't want to drop it down the hole, so if we hear a crash, I know it's gone wrong. Anthony said to me that I want help and I was like, no, no, you've done enough. I lied, I did want help. <sighs> I'm woman, hear me roar. Ow! Put it on my foot, hear me squeak. Oh, I'm a mighty warrior. <laughs> I haven't had much sleep. <sighs> stand up, stand up, stand up, don't fall down the hole. Talking to a drunk man. Stand up, stand up. Don't care for mind. <sighs> Do not fall down the hill. There's a bloody great box of photo albums that's very much in the way. Who looks at photo albums in 2022? Nobody. <clears throat> you can't even see what's happening. I might as well turn you off. I'll be back in a minute. Ah, oh, now will you look at the wee children there? Sorry about the Irish accent. I'm not sure what happened. Were they not sweet and innocent? I don't know what went wrong. Quick update, I'm sitting on the floor, I have regrets. Okay, I've moved it over, got it where I want it, and I've started loading it up. There we go. I'm just sneezing on. The... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I oh, hope you bless me. Um, yeah, quite pleased with that. It needs more hooks, it only came with a certain number of hooks. It needs more hooks and I would prefer to have metal hooks because I think they are stronger. These plastic ones seem to have a bit of a give in them and I don't want my mugs to just crash off. But very pleased with it. I should, should produce a lot more mug storage, which should make things easier. While I'm up here, I need to pick a couple of orders and then it's time to go pick up my mother. Mm. We've come to Brackenwood Garden Centre. I've got my mother, look. There she is. And Natalie, who's there. Uh... That's not Natalie, but what? <laughs> That's Natalie. That's a trolley. Um, yeah, we're, we're, Mum wants winter bulbs, don't you, Mother? Or, or winter yeah. flowering bulbs? Yeah. Yeah. Winter flowering bulbs. And, and stuff for next spring. And stuff for next spring. And there's a cafe, so we've actually kind of got the idea that there might be some lunch going on. There might be some. And I thought I'd show you around the garden centre while we're here. Mm. That's quite nice, isn't it? A little memorial to to her late Majesty. I tried to show some bulbs, she was like, let's have a look at food first. I thought we could fix them, but we got tired. There's nothing left to do but to say good. I've got scampi and chips. That is not diet friendly food, but there was a limited choice on the menu. And that's got ham and chips. Hey, mum's got ham, egg and chips. Thank you. And yeah, mum's got ham, egg and chips. And you just burnt your face, haven't you, on a chip? Well, the chips were hotter than I thought they were. Back when I met you like fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on So 
thought we'd pop in for a quick trip around B&M, but it's melting in here. It's slowed both me and Mum down, I think, the heat. We're just staggering along, trying not to collapse. I wonder if they've got heating on and it's not cold enough. Yeah, I expect so. I expect they had a cold day, whacked it all on and now we're all dying. <laughs> Look. I know some of you like gnomes. Look at the gnome cookie jar. <laughs> I like that. I don't need a cookie jar. I don't need cookies. Stop buying cookies. I'm knackered. Mother's knackered. Mm -hmm. Although she found some cake in her handbag, so she certainly did. <laughs> like a, you know, like a hamster or something, <laughs> ferreting away there in the viewfinder. <laughs> You're like, oh, no, 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 no. Gollum, my pretty, my precious. <laughs> I was saying before my mother started golluming in the background. <laughs> She's now choking to death on a crumb. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> I was saying that we're knackered. I, I, you can tell I'm knackered from the state of my underwear. Isn't it? It's a bit yesterday's mascara that escaped the plunger. Your underwear. Under eyes. <laughs> Not my underwear. <laughs> you can't tell I'm knackered by the... Did you hear her? Did you hear my mother? You can tell she's knackered by the state of her underwear. Look at her trying not to laugh toward her, her own joke. <laughs> you right, Anam? Stop it. <laughs> Me stop it, mind. As I was saying, we're home, we're knackered, as you can tell by the state of my under eye area. <laughs> it's going to be an early night tonight. We've been to the garden centre. Did we go there first? I think we did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Into the garden centre. Yeah. I've been to M&S and got my mother's bits of shopping. We've done B&M. You saw bits of that. B&M was like an oven. Um... I think I'm, all this, I'm, I, this is for my vlog because I'm recording a vlog. Hundreds this weekend. of people. Hundreds of people. All of your fan right. base, mother. Yeah. All of your fan club. They all think you're lovely. I am. Apparently, she is. It's what you call an awkward silence. Mm. I think that's it for today. I think that's it for this vlog. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.